Right, how to tie killer gear. So first of all, you want to get yourself a good charter boat. Put yourself on a good charter boat. Um, a poodle skipper. One who really knows his stuff. Um, some good ones down in the southwest. Some very good ones don't do it anymore. But um, like some of the new guys pick up. This is a um, CB UK charter boat website. That's um, definitely the way forward for you know you want to book up a, a boat all for yourself or for individuals and um, you can go sort of last minute as well and um, that's all around the UK it tells you how much it's going to cost what you're going to fish for tides all sorts so that's a, that's a very good um, website and the deep sea um, website as well there's some more boats on there and um, you know they, uh, those guys are really good take you to the best fishing spots and um, take to, um, to get some to use your killer gear. Um, so this is just a, a chart, an abonics chart, and it just details the food wrecks just off um, Devon there. And these are these are some of the wrecks I've actually fished. Um, cod, bling and stuff like that. Cod is obviously your number one, very good eating fish. And um, they'll take the killer gear. Um, so will Ling, so will Pollock as detailed in this photograph. A cool fish paddock will, will take it. Um, the pollock and coolfish are a bit higher up, but there'd be a bit of white in Gurnard, and you might fluke out a conger, and you may even fluke out an angler fish. Um, this is a haddock on a um, on a perk, killer gear, um, very good eating fish, and um, this is a 20 pound cod, uh, port of Guernsey, and there's the angler fish there. He's grabbed the he's, he's grabbed the perk. So um, yeah, Guernsey um, trips and Guernsey wrecks are very good. The cod and things like that. There's an area called the Herd Deep. Um, if you want to research that, it's very deep there, obviously. Uh, this, this is a typical diagram of the Killigree, and I'll show you a. Um, I'll do a video at the end of this, of this discussion here on precisely how you tie and everything at the end of the video. Um, and this is like you can pause it here, and this is this is gives you an example of how to tie it. This is rigged up with three. I don't rig it up with two, gentlemen. Um, this is the drift. Um, what it's like actually on the boat when you're doing it. Sometimes the skipper will set you up in, if there's 12 guys on board, they'll set you up in two teams, A and a B team. So you don't get so many tangles like that. But yeah, the fish are generally, as per this diagram really, the pollock are up high, the cod are a bit closer, tied to the wreck. It depends what the tide's doing. If the tide's fast, the fish will hug the wreck. If it's um, a, a near slack wall, the fish will go higher up and then walk on. So yeah, the rod and reel you need, probably you want a sort of 20 to 30 pound class, and like a, um, this is a pen center four roll, an old fashioned one, very heavy, but they do, pen do a lot lighter stuff now. You want about 30 pound main line, maybe 50 pound braid, something like that. And um, due to quite decent, it's usually pretty heavy going on your arms. So yeah, this is this is what you do over the wreck. The drift is like it is, and you just drift over, and you wind up, and you bounce it over the wreck to see if you can bump into these cord and these pollock. Um, and as you can see by this diagram on the left, you can see the cod there. He's about to grab the the killer gear there. That's precisely what happens. And this is my this is my father um, with a 36 pound cod he caught on killer gear over in the herd deep. That was. Um, he's very good at catching cod. Uh, it's a few years ago now, but um, and there's me. I, it was my turn. I, I I eventually managed to get one as well. And, um, I was very pleased with that. This is um, a typical sort of wreck you turn up to, it's just full of link. You just drop your killer gear down, you just fill the boat up with link. It's just I mean, there's a, one or two gone, but mainly all link. So, this is just um, an example of the, the, the sort of 30 pound main line you use, 50 pound trace for abrasion on the rank. And um, you buy your red gills or your muppets. And if there's cod there, they will grab it. Simple as that. So yeah, there's just a, um, another decent sized cod there. Good fight for the old cod, they really hug the bomb. And um, these are some slightly smaller ones. Norway ones, Norway is absolutely brilliant for cod. That really is, you end up you put them back. Right, so this video is about killer gear. Killer gear for wreck fishing. Um, this is the basic apparatus you need um, to assemble your own 
killer gear. You can you can buy it, um, but I like to make my own. Um, so it's an assortment of different sort of lures you can use. Um, it's primarily based around fishing above a perk, which is this metal bar here. That's like a Norwegian perk. Um, I'm not sure how much that weighs, it's about 14 ounce, 16 ounce, something like that. Uh, what's it say on the side of it? 175 grams, 6 ounce. But depending on the tide, you might want to have some bigger ones or lighter ones. But that's just a, a this is just an, um, a generic one, just for, for you, um, just to um, give you an example. So here we have um, some Berkeley saltwater power bait, um, three and a half inch, which are these ones here. They're like ribbed um, paddle tail sort of shared. Um, I'm going to do. I'll, I'll, I'll do the killer gear with those. Um, you can use red gills, which are these ones here. This is a, a 115 red gill. Okay. Um, the line which goes through there, you can probably get to a maximum of 25 um, through there. And the hooks are quite thin, so depending on what sort of fish you're going after, you know, if you're doing light sort of, um, you know, if they weren't monster fish, you could get away with using these. But if you're um, going after some bigger fish, you want to use some real sort of heavy duty hooks. Which are here? These are like um, they're like this one's a mustad. Um, I can't remember the code of it. Was it three four 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 or something like that? Real strong hook. Um, you know that lands your fish over thirty pounds. Um, I'm not sure where that is. That's a mustad, similar size. Um, so anyway, just to go into it a little bit more, um, there's some other um, paddle tail style Berkeley shads there, and there's some white. White is a very good colour for a red gill to have above your perk. Um, just a quick note with regards to your paddle tails and buying your packs and bits and pieces, try not to mix them. Or I would say don't mix them, keep them all together in the same packet. Um, why? Because they have different sort of um, chemicals that they're sort of soaked in and um, to help them preserve and they can react with each other. Like this one could react with these ones here. So I'm just word of warning, keep them separate, especially if they're from different manufacturers when you're storing them. So just be mindful of that because they will melt. Um, these ones here are from um, Aussie Man or something like that. These are diesel minnows. They'd be pretty effective as well. Um, so yes, yeah, so you need a pair of pliers, um, heavy duty swivel. I'm not sure what size swivel that is, but it's a very robust rolling swivel. You need the swivel to help to stop line twist and act as a link. And that's what reminds me, where's the link? And we just need, on the end of your perk, you just want to attach a link so you can change the size of the weight of the perk. Trebles can be changed to a, um, a single hook, okay, to avoid snags, and they'll hook up pretty good as well. You can add an assist hook to the top. You've got a heavy duty swivel, again, to stop um, line twist, so it rotates. And then obviously your, um, your link um, will provide, um, so you can change, okay? So, this is um, Schneider Leader, brought that in Sydney, that's £55, um, any sort of you know heavy duty leader will do. We're going to make up the snood with 55 and um, and that's basically all the outrage you need. These are um, good pliers, these are, you notice they've got a little, it's got a little tool on the end, that's very good for digging into, um, where are we, split rings like that to help you open them up because some of them just will not budge, really heavy duty ones will not budge and you can need this tool on the end of your pliers. And they're good because they, they've got nippers there as well to cut the mono. Okay. Right. Right, so the first thing we're gonna do is um, grab the leader. Okay, so 55 pound, all right? And you wanna pull off about, I'd say about a metre, metre and a half. Probably about so long. That's plenty. Okay. So maybe it's a little fraction more. Not too much. Nip it with your pliers. 55 snips off lovely like that. So it's, you know, 55 is pretty strong. The reason why you have 55 because you generally use this rig in um, rough ground, okay, or over wrecks. So you can imagine the, you know, the, the, the hassle it sort of, it gets. So all you do, you tie um, your first tie onto the swivel, just a strong knot. I go round, I don't know, six or seven times, and I go through. Nice and supple, this leader. I go through, 
once like that, that'd be enough, but I go through again, you get a nice sort of like that. You just you can see that very well, but you can't see it very well. Let's slide it up. And there you go, that'll that'll hold all day long. So you can snip it off as you go. If you're in a real hurry on a boat or something. It's always it's always good to pre-tie this sort of stuff because on the boat, if it's rocking up and down and you're tying the stuff, it can make you feel seasick. So it's always best to do a lot of this prep stuff before you go. So all right, so we look what we're looking to do, we're looking to add two snoods. So uh, a snood and a hook, and then we just simply attach this paddle tail. Okay, or a red gill. Okay, or a diesel minnow. Okay, like that, so you have one there and you'll have one here. So all you're doing is you want a short snood. Okay, so you just lay that there like that, lay that over the top. You want a snort, short snood, doesn't matter, you don't want it too long because you want it fairly responsive. When you're jigging the rod up and down, you want it to react. Um, you could almost probably tie a, um, a drop shot rig where the, where the hook is just attached almost like this. That would work just as well probably. But So we want about 16 inches, something like that. Okay, so we just quickly nip that one like that. We go to a hook. Okay, we go to Mr. Hooky. And again, you want to, you know, your knots have got to be good. You know, on a wreck, you know, you, you can get, you get, you're talking about double figure fish and you're winding that up, you know, 100 meters. In England, you are anyway. Um, so, your knots need to be reasonable, fair and reasonable, really. No messing around. So this is a sort of simple sort of, you know, blood grin or whatever they call it. And you just nip it like that. I mean, you can leave that long. You know, it's very rough and ready on the wreck. There's no need to aim for sort of perfection. But we'll just snip it off as if we were doing it anyway. You can give it a little yank there to pull it tight. But you want to leave about, I don't know, a centimetre and a half. All right, and all you do, you grab, this is this, the original snood. Sorry I'm taking too long, but I'm trying to do it as quick as possible for you. So you want roughly sort of, you know, don't aim for perfection, but you just want to, and all I do, grab a loop, grab a loop, and I go around once, twice, Three, four, five, six. Through the hole, through the big loop. I can see that through there. And I pull that tight like that. And I use my nails to bunch it up. Right, and I get the pliers. And there's 55 pounds each there. And I just, I pull up to the knot like that. Now watch out for that hook there when you're pulling like this that you don't slip and put it in your hand or something like that and you can give this one a little bit of a yank, give that, that tail end a bit of a yank as well and then hold it there, give it a bit of a yank and that's it that's all you do and again just snip it off snip it off, there you go, there's one okay probably want to do it a little bit shorter than that but that's okay alright Okay, so let's tie, on, let's tie on the next one, which is this one here. So we'll try and do it a bit shorter, this one. So it's a fairly time consuming. It's, if you're on a boat doing this, you're actually paying, you're paying, you know, say £100 to be on a boat for eight or nine hours or whatever, and you're messing around doing this, and it's like a four, six, I've been there, and you've, you know, and you throw your guts up and all sorts. So you want to do as many of these as you can, because you, you're fishing over a wreck, you will lose a lot of gear. So all you do, you want to tie your next knot around about with the book, just, just underneath the first hook. Okay, and we're doing the same thing. All right, we're doing exactly the same thing. Big bow. Move one, two, three, 
four, five, six, through here, bit of heart, mind your teeth, punch it up, punch it up like that, like so, where are we, let's just see, that's it, punch it up, again just revisit with your pliers, pliers over both bits of line and just pull up to the knot and just force it to nip and give the end bit a little bit of a yank as well and snip off so you've got about half an inch something like that so it's got a bit so a real big fish that knot if it was a real big fish that can slide all right so that's a bit of an option there so this one's a bit better this one's a bit shorter and then all we do we just go to the hook but 4-0, something pretty 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 firm wire. Remember, if you're going after some real big fish, you can use this rig. You just you just beef up the, the terminal gear. Beef up your swivels, your, your um, trace, your hooks. But this this for UK sea fish and this this you know you can land 20 pound cod on this. Easy. Easy peasy. And you just Pull that, nip that tight, that's it. That's it, that's done. That one's done. That one's done. Right, so that is that. So, to your actual um, swivel there, tie, you just tie your main line to that. Alright, you've got two hooks. You can you can just tie, put um, fillets of mackerel on that, and if there's fish there, they will take it. It's the same. It's the same principle. But what I'll do, I'll just attach the perk to the to the change link. So to a link swivel. Right, same knot. So we can change change the lures over. Got trebles there, mine then trebles. So treble snag gives are easy, but they're good for hooking fish. But I mean, you, I would go for a single and then put an assist hook up above, maybe, or just a single hook. A lot of the time, the fish will take the upper lures anyway. So we're just doing that. We're just tying that. So that's done. That's done. We just just tidy, just tidy up a little bit. All right. So that's that. All right. So you could put on there so you can see that very well so there's the perk all right and what you can do we can, we can slide it down see I'm sliding it down so you can, on that knot you can move it a bit further down so it's above the look so it looks like it looks like a um, so all we do it looks like the fish is chasing the fish so all you do you just go through the head like so, like that. That's all you're doing. Doesn't matter which way up it is, how the paddle tail, you can get it to make hell of a lot of difference. And you put one on this. You can buy bigger paddle, paddle tails, but these are okay. Just like that. Just like that. And there you go. And there you go. That's it, that's the, that's the rig. So all that happens is you're just jigging this up and down. You can put one lure on, you can put two lures on, you can put three lures on. And that's basically it. Cheap, simple, do it yourself. Have what lures you want on there. All right, so for, for me, this is actually quite a light setup, so I'll be expecting to pick off that whiting haddock. Um, you know, smaller fish, but you, you can, if the big fish are there, boom. They grab this all day long. The perk. You just you just jig it up and down. And you've got a strong swivel, 55 pound. And that's it. That's 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 that is the killer gear rig. So all I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna unclip it and I'm gonna put it in a packet, its own packet. I'll wrap it in a in a circle, put a little bit of um, tape around it, and that's good to go. So all I've got to do when I'm on the boat, I've just got to run unpack it, clip it on, tie my main line on, and I'm done. I'm ready to fish. Ask the skipper what size 
um, jig to put on to bring it down, depending on what the tide's doing, whether it's a big tide or a small tide. You want to try and get it as light as possible. But it's going to vary, the tide's going to pick up or it's going to decrease. So, there you go, there you go. That's, that's the killer gear rig. All right, I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. And um, if you like the video, please subscribe. There'll be more tackle videos along the way. All right, cheers a lot. Yeah, so this is the um, the rig just um, put inside the, um, the case. So I've just wrapped it up, I've just folded it in there. And that is now, that's just ready to go. That's ready to go, so when you're on the boat, that's all, that's all organized, that's all sealed. You know exactly what it is. You just gotta pull it out and connect it. And that's it. Yeah, here's some alternatives to the, um, to the perk, um, to the metal shed you can use. Um, you can, I mean, these are Westin Crazy Daisies. I think they are, although I think these are 180. Yes, 180 gram. So you could clip one of those on in place of. There's a slightly bigger one here, it's a 300 one. So you clip that on underneath. Um, you can just fish them on their own. Um, likewise, if you were, you know, if it were, if there wasn't a lot of tide, you could probably go down to something like this. These are you could clip these on, and these are, I think these are 60, 80 gram, something like that. And there's some even lighter stuff just over there. Just get some different options to fix in a metal perk. But um, yeah, they're sort of pretty good for any sort of bottom species, really. Sort of um, cod, pollock, lean. Um, a conger may grab it. Um, you have a Norway, a halibut, something like that, cool fish. Um, mainly you're looking for sort of, you're hoping for a cod or something like that would grab it. That'd be your number one.